the advent calendar is on its way. I'm taking it down to the post office in about 10 minutes. And it fit in a box about that size. I'm happy to get this in the mail. Here we go. And we're off to mail the package. And I'm going to get a little walk in at the same time because I need to walk every day. I've been averaging about two miles a day since I started Weight Watchers and since things dried up after all the ice that we had. And the thing about walking is depending if you walk for 15, no, I think if you walk for 30 minutes, you get an extra point to eat or you can add that point onto your weekly points, which are bonus points that you can eat. Kind of hard to wave at somebody when you got a box in one hand and a phone in the other, but I think they know that. Anyway, it's a little brisk. Today I don't know what the temperature is, I didn't look, but uh, a little on the windy side. And um, yesterday I had to go for a checkup appointment and I, eh, it's about 20 minute drive I guess. And the wind was so bad. I think it was like a 70, 80 kilometer wind. It was a horrible drive. Anyway, it's not quite that strong today, but it is a little brisk. But there's no snow. It's the 21st of December. I'm a little later mailing this box than I wanted to be, but it'll still get there in time for the 1st of December. It's not going that far. I did go with the option of purchasing the prepaid box. Um, you get tracking insurance, $100 insurance, and it's, you, you get the box and the tracking and the insurance for one flat rate, and it's guaranteed to be there at a certain time. I can't remember what it is, but the thing is, any box can't be over 11 pounds so I was a little bit worried but this box weighed in at about five and a half pounds so I did good. I was a little worried about the stones. Whew. All right there's the post office I'm going to turn you off now. All right it's mailed. He should have it in a couple of days so now we'll go for a bit of a walk. There's our grocery store there. It has absolutely everything in it, a really good deli, a butcher, not a bakery though, but everything else. This is one of our restaurants here. Currently it's closed and people have had some health issues. So. And I was thinking about bringing you over to the library probably sometime soon. Because, you know, I made the reading shawl. Well, now I'm knitting the library socks. <laughs> I think there's sort of a theme going on here. I don't know. Kind of seems that way. But anyway, the little blue building there, that's our library. I used to work there, actually. I, When we first moved to the facility here, I, um, I cleaned there just for some extra cash. And then that's a recycling center. I've talked about that before. When you have something that you don't really want, you, I'm gonna go on the street. You bring it there, you put it on the shelf, and you leave it. And somebody else comes along and if they want it they take it it's actually a really nice system no money exchanges i have picked up some really 
neat things there. And uh, I have put a lot of things there too. So it's a nice way to recycle. Look at that pretty cloud. Isn't that nice? Morning. Morning. Yeah, so this is our daycare. Early, early child daycare. And then we have uh, Ace Hardware here. Big, big place. And I'm going towards our museum and our, well, we have a museum building and we have a school, an old school that's also a museum. I'll show them to you. There's Ace. My nose is, my nose is cold. This building here, behind the trees, is a fitness center. They have all kinds of equipment in there. And our insurance uh, brokers are in there for our auto insurance and home insurance and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here's one of the original schools from this town. Let's just go have a quick look. And it's turned into a museum. It has a name on it. Kennel School, number 17, 18. Yeah, it's, and it's all set up. I will, it's not open during the winter months. It's only open in the summertime. So maybe next summer I'll come in and go through it with you. It's really interesting. And they have a lot of um, memorabilia in there from school back in the early 18, 1900s. Even a school outhouse over there. <laughs> and then, of course, this is a, a granary. They don't use them anymore. They've disappeared from our landscape. Every town used to have one on the railway, and that's where the grain would be picked up and then taken up north to be shipped through the um, northern seaports. This other little building here is the old train station, which has been turned into a museum. I haven't been in there for a while. Oops, I'm going to have problems getting out of here. i got to go back. <laughs> I haven't been in there for a while. They have done a lot of work in there, restoring some of the building itself. And they have quite a bit of very interesting local memorabilia in there. Um, a lot to do with this area during World War II. This area, not too far from here, was a major training area for the Air Force, Canadian Air Force. And a lot of the locals from here were in the Air Force and they, they trained nearby. And then they left for the war right from here. So there's a lot of information about that in there. So maybe next year I will do a few videos on that. I'm just going to go back over to the sidewalk here. Oh, it's cold. And then I oh, can't see it yet. Our hospital Yes, we do have a hospital. However, it's been turned into a nursing home. It's not an operating hospital anymore. It's been closed as a hospital for quite a long time. There's our municipality building. I 
can't really see the hospital from here. And then our legion. It's a hall. And um, they have all kinds of events there. I love that sky. We have the most gorgeous skies here. If I'm going to do more walks today, I'm going to have to get warmer mittens. So there's a railroad track right here. Um, okay. That tall white building at the back there, that is the nursing home and the hospital. The nursing home is lovely. We have uh, Gary, my husband, is a pastor, and he does services there, and I've played for him. Plus, I've also volunteered in other ways at the nursing home, and it's a beautiful little place. It's about, I don't know, 30 beds or so, clean, well-run, and as a nurse, an ex-nurse, um, it's one of the nicest little nursing homes I've ever been in, to be honest with you. Well, maybe if I turn, you can pop up and see it. There. That's the hospital and nursing home over there. So the hospital has been converted into beds for the nursing home. And then there's a newer section that is private rooms for the nursing home. This is a highway here, so I have to pay attention while I cross. I don't want to get snuffed out. And we'll just go down this little lane. I believe it's the 21st of, of November. It really is. This is so not our typical November weather. my finger on there. Sorry about that. So this is the back lane that ends up behind our property. It's quite icy here. Have to be careful I don't fall. It's it's turned kind of miserable. We're used to warmer weather. Oh, I know. Yeah. Minus 11, uh, today. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's coming, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bound to. Ooh, I'm going to walk over here on the grass. My nose is really running. Isn't that sky gorgeous? Gosh, anything prettier than that? I gotta just take a picture of that. So pretty. Oh, 
so I'm gonna when I get in the house I'm going to do a little bit of knitting I started the second library sock and they are for a gift for a very dear friend and then I'm going to I think I might do a little bit of baking um, Gary's been very patient with me and I am, he's not on a diet he doesn't need to be on a diet he's very skinny but he's been really patient about me insisting on not having any kind of sweet stuff in the house but I think he deserves some cookies so I think I'll make some cookies oh that sky I can't get enough of it it's gorgeous and here's my property and the birds are cleaning out my feeders. So I will talk to you later. Jerry also thought I would walk around the yard a little bit. This is my perennial bed. In particular, I wanna check my roses. I've got lights strung through the walkway here. Go all the way around to the back and then there's lights on this tree and there's lights on the back hedge and there's lights on the arch and I see the lights on my back hedge aren't the wind has knocked them out I'll have to fix that and I want to look at my roses there's one and there's the Canadian shield I never put any leaves around them. I don't have any oak leaves. I hope they'll be all right. The trouble is with a, a year like this where uh, we don't have any snow cover, if it suddenly gets to 30 below, um, I'm gonna be losing all my plants. At least when there's a snow cover, it's a good insulator for that, but yeah. There's a little chickadee. Those chickadees are so calm. Well, it's now 2.30 in the afternoon. I had a nice long chat with my brother after I got back from the post office earlier. Actually, we talked most of the morning away on the phone and then I had lunch and I just was going to sit down and pick up some knitting. I talked about the library socks that I'm working on. Here's the first one. Aren't they lovely? So yeah, I think I am in sort of a, I don't know, a zone. I did the reading shawl and now the library socks. So I just cast on the second one and I was gonna sit down and do that and I got a notification that something came for me at the post office. So I sent Gary down there and he came home with this big parcel and I know what it is. So let's open it up and see. Sorry for the crinkling, I'll try not to crinkle. Remember that crocheted afghan that I ordered. I think that's what this is. Well, I know that's what this is because it's the only thing that I've ordered. Wow, there's a lot of yarn in here. Woohoo! And as always, Chip is helping. So I got a free tote bag. Whoops. Knock my hands off. Ooh, a lot of crinkling. Sorry about the crinkling.
gosh, I keep knocking my thing off here. Yeah, so um, a nice tote bag. This was free. If you ordered over, I can't remember what the, I think it was if you ordered over $75, you got a free tote bag. Yeah, it's nice. It's got pockets in it. Oh, it's got two pockets, three pockets. That'll be a good project bag. So I got that and then the Afghan kit. Now, when I ordered this, um, I just, I thought it would be, you know, just something that I ordered. But then my husband decided that he should give this to me for Christmas. So I'm actually not going to start this until after Christmas. I've got too many other things to do anyway, but this is the kit. The Shalach into the Woods. It's an overlay mosaic crochet and um, all the yarn comes with it to complete the kit. So I'm very excited about this. The pattern is like a book and there's actually the, um, the person who created this, I can't remember what her name is, she has a website, a YouTube channel, and she shows on her channel how to do a lot of the different stitches. There's, I think, only two or three different stitches, but you don't carry yarn. You, you crochet, and then you, the next row, you crochet um, the row before, over the row before, so that's how you get that um, change of color and mosaic thing. So I'm going to have to follow her for a little while to see how she's done. I've done some mosaic crochet, but it, I did it a long time ago and it wasn't called mosaic crochet back then. It was just called crocheting. Um, I can't remember what they called it, but it wasn't called mosaic, but it's the same thing where you crochet, you take your stitch down a row, um, like even down two rows sometimes, depending on what kind of stitch. It makes a long stitch. So that's what came in the mail. So now that I've opened that, I'm not going to go any further with it. I'm just going to leave it. And um, I'm going to give back to my sock. And maybe I'll have a nap because it's been quite a long day. I've been up since 5.30 or awake since 5.30. I got up about 6.30, I think. But um, I'm getting kind of tired. So I think I'll just wrap this up. This was an impromptu video to begin with. So have a good day, everybody, the rest of your day or the beginning of your day, wherever you are in the world. Could be either or. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.